A cornered mouse will bite even a cat. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Remember at precept 3 when I told you about Funakoshi's 15 guideline, when well trained, your hands and feet are like swords. I'll elaborate on this when I'll talk about Funakoshi's 15th precept. So we're at 3 right now, so uh, stay tuned. Well, today we're at least 12 weeks later and I'm glad you're still staying tuned. Because Funakoshi's 15 precept is Imagine one's arms and legs as swords. This precept is harder to translate to daily life. For starters, it means to consider your arms and legs as swords. In daily life, you have to understand what a sword meant in Japanese culture back in the day. In the life of a samurai, for example, the sword was crucial for survival. And a lot of care was given to its maintenance. For us non-samurai, the same thing is true for our sword, our body. We should take good care of our body because it is crucial for our survival. Now, Since the hands and feet of the dedicated practitioner of Karate Do can be as dangerous as a sword, this principle should be taken literally. See, in a fight, your hands and feet should move just as if they were blades to cut your enemy. Your techniques should be sharp and powerful. They should flow and thrust, mimicking the grace and precision of a sword. If your hands and feet were swords, you wouldn't shy away from the discomfort of impacting your opponent's body because you wouldn't feel any pain. There would also not be any fear of your hands and feet getting close to your opponent as they wouldn't be hurt. This is how you must fight. A sword flows in a straight line with every swing in the most efficient way. This is how your movements should be. They must take the most direct route to your target, strongly and without hesitation. Focus on the direction your arms and legs are traveling and ending up during your techniques, not on where your swords, hands and feet are going. If we take this idea a step further, we should also consider the hands and feet of a non-practitioner to be dangerous. When survival is at stake, even the untrained are capable of unleashing amazing power and extraordinary strength with their limbs. When someone without knowledge of karate or judo and the like fights with all his or her heart and soul and without regard for life and limb, a beginner in the martial arts would have no chance of resisting. As the saying goes, a cornered mouse will bite even a cat. For this reason, we should never succumb to overconfidence or arrogance about our strength and ability. Whether confronted by someone with or without martial arts training, we must allow for the potential of the opponent. When trouble occurs, we should always remain careful and respectful in words and actions and never look down upon our opponents or discount their potential. Rather, we should concentrate on defending ourselves with full awareness and commitment. Imagine one's arms and legs as swords. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day and as always, Thanks for watching. The pen is mightier than the sword, but only if the pen is held by Chuck Norris.